guys. So comes the longer video here. Um, we've got a lot of brushwork going on. Um, I was hemming and hawing a lot about how I was going to paint this up, uh, whether I was going to use the airbrush a lot or um, use oils a lot. Was I gonna use, what was I going to do? Am I going to do it the hard way and do it, you know, base color wash uh, highlight? Um, you know, which way was I going to do it? There's a big bunch of terrain here that I need to get ready. I really want to. You know utilize some stuff and I want to make the videos interesting you know um, came around to a, a real good decision here um, I need to get some wet palette work going um, so I decided to just punch out with uh, we'll go with metallics here and we'll get everything shaped up looking a little sweet and uh, you know go from there um, I'm still on the fence as to whether I'm going to oil this or not. Um, I had a lot of fun uh, doing it this way. Um, I know normally I would probably be using my airbrush to speed this process up a lot, but uh, I don't know. Um, this this entire board has a very unique look to it, um, and the other side of it, um, which you know isn't going to make it to a video um unless well if we video it at the event and uh we do some kind of live stream or something then you'll be able to see it but uh yeah that that those four tiles i'm doing for some city radio discord um and our discord uh the group that we're uh putting this on for um yeah here we go this is a little bit longer video to watch but um Brushwork's kind of key with a lot of this. Um, I wanted to make sure. Yeah, I don't know. I just wanted. A, I wanted a, a specific kind of look. Um, haven't done things this way in a while. Um, but yeah, we're using this. We're going to be using. Um, I don't think I'm using any contrast paints on this one. Uh, this is uh, just base metallics. I'm using. Uh, GW colors, uh, lead belcher. Um, what was the other one? Ugh, I can't remember the other two. But one's a bronze, one's a brass, and uh, one's a silver. Um, whatever the GW base names are for that, I can't remember all that stuff anymore. Um, okay, well, I'm gonna let you guys watch, and then I'll be back when we shift gears here a little bit.
Okay, so here we're uh, we're going to be working on um, highlighting for the final um, orange fluorescent, which I haven't applied yet. Um, these rocks are going to be uh, very bright and shiny after they're all said and done. Um, I have noticed something um, as I was working on this. These tiles are quite a bit darker. Wow, it seems like I'm completely flickering on the one side too, which I didn't catch until just now. Um, yeah, uh, and I think that has everything to do with uh, they weren't really primed the same way as the other the other foam that I did. Um, so the orange is a bit off. Um, this is okay. Uh, I've adjusted by making the sump darker, which worked out really well here. Um, we're gonna put a shiny coat of finish on this, on that sump, and it's gonna really shine all over the place on inside the can, the uh, canyon walls. And now here we go with the tent. We're gonna work on the, uh, you know, the uh, Ashways campsite. <laughs> huh, I didn't realize that camera was flippering in and out the way it was. Well. I have to fix that at some point, but uh, yeah. So um, I'm gonna let you keep watching me put paint on things. Uh, I'll be back in a little bit. going to be some airbrushing um yeah i'm doing it mainly on these so that i can match up with the other tiles that i've been working on on the other side um this also is the same step i used on the uh hab units on the original uh board um this was the way that i did it wash in oil and then put uh, uh pigment powders over the top uh, this was one of the first projects that I did that on and uh, really worked well, so <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, so Here we are working on the big old sump uh, Fuel fuel tower um, Man, I really like the way this thing looks to be honest and it looks even better painted <laughs> Wait till you see at the end of the video uh, but anyways, uh, yeah, we're spraying down the base colors for stuff. Um, and, uh, I'll get back to you when we switch things up again.
to admit, when this red goes on the pipes, it really brings out um, just the look. Uh, everything, everything starts picking up gear in my head. Um, I, uh, yeah, because usually when these colors start coming on and I start painting things a certain way from doing it like this, um, that means we're we're past the halfway point now. We're we're getting to the getting to it. Um, I know there's a lot of bit and bobs in this video, um, and yeah, trust me, as far as editing was concerned, I was uh, very uh, particular in what I put in this one. This could have been about a four-hour video <laughs> if I would have put everything in. Um, yeah, there's a lot of a lot of nitpicking when it comes sometimes to these tiles, the way you want them to look. Um, yeah, like I said earlier, I had a specific thing going on in my head for this side of the tile. I don't really know if I could explain it very well um, other than that. Um, I wanted this to have a, a feel of tiles I've, well, not tiles, but stuff I've done in the past. Yeah, and now we, uh, we're getting to the, doing the old brushwork metallics, you know, and getting things, getting things cleaned up and ready to go for, uh, for the next stages after this, um, which are going to be some oils. I've decided I'm going to be doing oils on at least those two pieces right there. Most likely I'll be doing them to the uh, orange tiles itself but uh yeah i'm planning on trying to do this in just three videos so um the next video will be the last one with this and i'll be done with the with the uh those four tiles um and hopefully i'll be done with the other four tiles too or at least enough that i can get a full picture up for you guys um and uh yeah you know, this is just just putting in true metallics where they're supposed to be. Like I said, I, that might be the thing. I wanted um, a lot of uh, a, a good true metallic on this. I didn't want to. Um, I didn't want to put it through the gun. Um, I know you can get very close with the guns, but shooting metallics once they overspray, boy, it's hard to get them out of that area you have to make some decisions to change how the paint job's gonna look and uh i really wanted to have them you know clean so um okay so anyways what i said earlier um the uh the sump needed to change uh these are the uh the original plexiglass pieces that i put on um and i went with two yeah just two different purple inks with this. Um, I'm gonna be coating it again in a gloss. It's gonna be highly shiny, but we darkened it up quite a bit during this process. Um, I was actually very happy. Um, when I make some more sump, sump water effects and things like this, I'm gonna be playing a lot more with um, this kind of a look. Um, I really like the way this looks. Now, not just the purple, but I mean when we go with the greens and I don't know whatever color else I'm going to make for sump. Brown, I would think, with a black to it. Mm. But, uh, yeah, this is... This is a lot of fun doing this, <laughs> I have to say. And it looks pretty spectacular um, in the end shots here that are coming up. Um, yeah, this has been fantastic. But yeah, so anyways, we're definitely gonna do one last video in this series and then I'm gonna start working on other things. And, uh, yep, right to the ends here. And flip. Whoa. Okay. 
So there's the toll bridge with the sump going through. You can see the tiles. Yeah, this is the old stuff, or the, the original stuff, not the old stuff, but the original stuff that I'm basing all this from. Sump tower, you got the roadways. There's a little campsite. Um, yeah, and the, uh, the wayward shack that's going to the toll road. It's gonna be very interesting, especially when we start getting the end details going on this. Um, I wanted you guys to know, um, thank you so much. I, I really, I can't believe there's as many people interested in what I'm doing. <laughs> um, it's been a great ride so far. It's only going to get better. Um, if you do like us, please like and subscribe. Have a great night.